Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Uh, everybody was, or everybody were waiting for this beautiful subject, Rounds of Jupiter. Till now, what we have done is just the general subject. Now we are entering into an area where we can know things or we can try to uh, predict or give anybody timing of events. That's why this is called as rounds of Jupiter. Of course, there is other method also for knowing the timing of events. Dasha Bhukti. But because we don't have Lagna or we don't take Lagna into consideration, we have got different system of knowing the timing of events in Nadi. Okay? As I said earlier, Jupiter has only six rounds. Because according to the soul energy or when a person, a native, crosses 60, between that 60 to 72 period he is okay. After that, he needs assistance of somebody. Of course, don't ask me or don't tell me that there are people who are aged 90 but still they don't take anybody's support. Or there are people who are above 112, they don't take anybody's support. Yes, that is one or two. In general, when we talk about natives or people, we just consider the general phenomena, not some unique cases. Okay? So we have got six rounds of Jupiter. What does Jupiter tell us and what is this rounds? Rounds is nothing but Jupiter takes one beautiful year for transiting from one sign or Rasi to another sign or Rasi. Okay? We have got 12 Rasis. When Jupiter travels among these 12 Rasis, it will take one, 12 years for one round. Okay? In these 12 years, he will, while transiting, in these 12 years, he will be touching the natal planets. Okay? When he touches the natal planet, we give that result or we predict that particular result to that particular native. Fine? So this is the main theory behind the rounds. You can ask me one more question. That <coughs> when Jupiter transits, the first round of 12 years. The first round of 12 years, he will touch every planet, all the nine planets he will touch. Fine. After 12 years, when he starts from 12 or 13 to 24, he will be touching the same to nine planets. Because this is a natal chart, planets will not jump planets will be stagnant. This is the birth chart. I am not talking about the Gochara. I am talking about the birth chart and the transiting Jupiter. Because when we want to know about the natives life happenings, incidents, we have to take the natal chart into consideration and transiting Jupiter, we have to observe the transiting Jupiter. Then only we can know what exactly is going to happen in an individual's life. That is the first part. Second part of my question was, when Jupiter starts his second round of transit from 13 to 24, or you can call it 12 to 24, 
here kindly note that i am not taking retrogradeness period into consideration we assume jupiter will spend one year in one rasi that's all i will tell you about retrogradeness separately that is also a wide subject and that's why so many people though they have very good planetary positions they will be having drawbacks in their material life or marital life or professional life or business life there will be having drawbacks i'm not saying that retrogradeness is the only cause but it is a different study i will give it to you okay because so many people were eagerly waiting for this rounds of jupiter okay i don't know how far i am going to do justice to their expectations but still what i have learned for about 35 years 38 sorry i am going to put that in front of you all so that you can have it for yourself analyze it if you like it enjoy it okay so the second round of jupiter from 12 to 24 first round is from 1 to 12 from the placement of jupiter till gemini the first round is over second rounds begin from 12 years 12 to 24 third round will begin 13 to uh the 24 to 36 next is 36 to 48 then 48 to 60 12 years block okay in the second round you will find the same placement of planet in the chart natal chart and the jupiter will touch all the all the planets in the same form just like he did it in the first round of transit but the result will differ when he touches first time venus he may do something else when he touches venus in his second round the effect or happenings will be different when he touches the same venus in the third round that's why we have bifurcated it for different rounds because when i was a kid i was just studying a b c d and all but when i started entering into the what you call the uh, sslc period 10th then i started studying different subjects college quite a different subject my life was the same it was the same life from the beginning till my end but what i do will differ what i get also will differ what i desire also will differ in the childhood days they like to play they need a volleyball or a football or they'll start playing in the childhood days when the age develops the desires or their interests will be different likewise when jupiter goes for a second round it will differ first we are going to talk about the first round of jupiter okay ah uh, before starting this i want you people to note this because this is very important i'll tell you it is like this whatever the rasi or sign is while jupiter is traveling in the first 12 years from his placement he will go around all the signs touching each sign for the second year another sign for the third year etc but he will be touching the planet placed in the sign of rasi okay so he has to give you the results of that sign that planet or the planet's significations he has to get it here in this context only i like to bring to your notice that 
it is not only the placement i have written there are about five important things what you should know when you deal with rounds of jupiter first jupiter's first house that is the placement of jupiter in whichever rasi or sign jupiter is placed in the natal chart that is the first house okay that place that sign for example here in karkataka rasi jupiter is placed okay when it is placed in cancer karak rasi karkataka rasi we have to see in that first round who all are there the first house aspect which other planets are aspecting the first house this is point number 1 first house aspect is the point number 1 next first house lord's placement this is cancer jupiter is placed here in cancer in the natal chart the lord of cancer is moon moon is placed in sagittarius so first thing is the planet which is aspecting jupiter's house jupiter's placement sign that is saturn it may be seventh house aspect it may be third house aspect it may be fourth house aspect it may be tenth house aspect or ninth house aspect so saturn is aspecting the first house likewise first house lord's placement where is the lord placed first house lord jupiter placed in cancer the lord of that house is moon moon is placed in dhanus sagittarius clear right next one more point you should remember while using this round of jupiter while you um, uh, find out or predict timing of events next point is first house trinal signs first house is cancer the trinal is 1519 1 we take this as first as 1 this is 5 and this is 9 trinal sign fine jupiter placement first with all the pla planets aspect jupiter that is the first round result there is a overall result throughout the 12 years and each year result two things are there overall result overall result for 12 years first one second one year month wise a uh, year wise year wise result so in this rounds of jupiter we can know from 1 to 12 what is going to happen mainly then you can know the first year what happens second year what's going to happen third year what's going to happen that also you can know clear so rounds of jupiter gives us these two things overall for the 12 years and each year in between the 12 years from 12 to 24 what happens at the age of 13 what happens at the age of 18 what happens at the age of 20 what happens at the age of 24 these things plus what is the main happening of that individual between 12 to 24 these two things can be known by the rounds of jupiter how we have to apply these formulas it's not a formula 
it is a notification or it is a note we have to consider this while giving the timing of events or predictions clear so the first house aspect jupiter's placement is the first house aspect nobody else is aspecting that karkataka saturn is aspecting so main important is saturn the first house aspect okay next first house lord's placement first house lord cancer first house lord cancer lord is moon moon is there in sagittarius moon is not having anybody aspect but mercury venus mars are seen here trying it ninth one only rahu is there five nobody is there and uh, only mars venus and third so second is moon aspected by mars venus mercury clear third point first house trinal signs i told you this is the jupiter's placement in the first tower first house in whichever natal chart you see wherever the jupiter is placed that is the first house for that natal so first house trinal sign is 5 and the nine you just see who are are placed in the trinal sign here nobody is there only one sun is there nobody is there so we will give the result of sun this is the third point fourth point transiting jupiter natal point natal planet because this is the first round what all jupiter is going to do in this first round i have told you this earlier in my rounds of jupiter video first round of jupiter will give all the positive and the negative things to the native accident to the native sickness to the native enjoyment vehicle purchasing or dad will purchase the vehicle and give it to him to the native good food to the native travel to the native Of course, the mum and dad has to go with them. That is a different issue. Sometimes the child may go with the grandparents. Anything is possible. Even that can be traced out. First, let us learn the basic principles behind this rounds of Jupiter. That is what we are now struggling to get. So, third one, trinal signs. If at all any planet is there, the first round of Jupiter. More on that one to twelve years, all the plan, all these things will be the effect. The Jupiter, the NATO gets all the benefits of first house aspect, first house large space placement, and the planets in the trinal house of the placement. Not only first house trinal signs, first house Lord wherever he is placed, and the trinal signs from there. If at all any pretty any planets are there, they will give their result also. Next is trinal signs from the first house and transiting Jupiter and the natal planets. In the twelve years, the first twelve years, Jupiter will touch each and every natal planet while transiting. For example, for example, now this is the period from twelfth September. we have got jupiter in libra jupiter is in libra now who all are seeing it actually if ketu is here fifth trinal sign then no one is here nobody is aspecting 7 8 9 10 yeah saturn is aspecting so in this case when jupiter comes here the result will pertain to saturn and ketu change of the pattern of job a change of job simple as simple as that when exactly when it's going to happen you have to go one or two more steps further but let us try to build the lower level steps first after that you can climb over it and try to build another two more steps where you can see 
from a very good height or you can see the depth either way transiting jupiter natal planets that is one way of knowing things first house lord aspected away first house lord i have told you earlier aspected away aspect remember this for me aspect is the regular aspect that is uh, third house aspect from saturn fourth house aspect from mars eighth house aspect from mars seventh house aspect from all the other planets ninth house aspect from jupiter okay when you count jupiter as the first house but his aspect also has to be counted for the results because transiting jupiter would be somewhere natal jupiter is important for us to give that particular result what he signifies what that planet signifies hope i am clear fine based on all this we get the result for the first 12 years is it for your information sake slowly i will repeat it because this is the basic foundation to know the prediction of events timely events okay yearly prediction okay of course when you try to calculate yearly predictions at that time of this will give you the results it may be the second round it may be the first round it may be the third round this result is sure apart from this any additional changes if i tell somebody that between 24 and 36 you will be receiving a lot of money but that fellow will receive i am sorry not that fellow the native will receive the money but still he may lose the money also if at all any any anti clockwise ketu movement is there natal nate uh, not natal with this uh, transiting jupiter when it gives the money it will give at the same time when ketu just like transiting jupiter on the reverse on the side, reverse side see when, when, when jupiter is transit, transiting the clockwise ketu is transiting anti clockwise if they touch both venus at one stand then there will be profits and losses also that you have to use your intuition and that you will get it only when you practice a lot not blindly by knowing a few principles here see astrology is such a beautiful subject but its calculation is not like mathematics here you cannot say 2 plus 2 is 4 sometimes 2 plus 2 will become 1 some plus 2 plus 2 here you can find it 5 anything may happen and that happening has to be reduced by your intuition and your practice okay so these are the methods i wanted to tell you of course i will read this the first 12 rounds i will read this i told you i will repeat it once again slowly this is a natal chart we are talking about the rounds of jupiter the first round is from when the native is 1 year old to 12 years because jupiter has to cross all the 12 signs and come back to the natal position that is 12 years likewise he will have six rounds he will have apple number of rounds if the age limit is there but how far he can do it for himself how far he is going to struggle for the family when everybody will take care of him that again differs okay when as long as saturn is well off he will be doing his own work when saturn goes away after 90 years he cannot do his work somebody has to help him out so these six rounds what is going to happen in these six rounds why we are studying this this rounds of transiting jupiter is only important for timing of events you can know when exactly what is going to happen in that two confusions will come to you one jupiter travels the same 12 houses each time after 12 years 
to the same 12 signs of Rasis, touching the same natal planets after 12 years every time. First 12 years you'll touch Venus. Again in the second round of 12 years you'll touch Venus again. But what will be the results? The results vary. The first 12 years is pertaining to Jupiter only. All the positive or the negative results will be given to him. Now, the calculations part. Calculations is so beautiful. You can know two things in first round or in any round of Jupiter. The basic two things what we have to remember while we touch the rounds of Jupiter is one overall result he will give you for the 12 years overall result for the 12 years i am not talking about separation of each year i am just telling you if he touches if he rules in his rounds of uh, jupiter not in his rounds when he is having the second round that is financial position when he touches venus or he, when he comes to a place where Venus is as aspecting him, where Venus is in the trinal side, then you can say that he will be enjoying a lot of money for another 12 years. Ah, that is overall. But again, there are certain, certain weak places. Whenever he touches Ketu or whenever he touches Saturn, some problems will be there. Money part of it will flow throughout the 12 years. But problems to other things, problems pertaining to other aspects will linger on this year-wise. So that's why we can know about year-wise prediction also in that 12 years. Okay. Now, for this what we need? We need these five things. First is, first house aspect. That means, wherever the Jupiter is placed, what are the planets which is aspecting Jupiter? What are the planets in the trinal sign to the Jupiter? What are the planets aspecting Jupiter will give those significations for the first 12 years to the native. Second point, first house lord's placement. First house lord's placement. Here we have to consider the house. But for your astonishment or for my luck, this is a Parivartan Yoga. When the Parivartan Yoga comes, you have to take it in two forms. You can treat this also as one and even this also as the first house. You have to do it. This is the benefit of a Parivartan Yoga. This will be also, it, you will get the result of this, you will get the result of this. You will get the result of trinal signs from here. You get the results of trinal sign planets aspect from here. And even internally, year wise, whenever transiting Jupiter comes to the moon, he will give the Jupiter and moon result. When he goes to Cancer, he will give the moon and Jupiter results. This is the beauty part of Parivartan Yoga. And this is why Parivartan Yoga people will enjoy a lot. Okay, this is one part about Parvartin Yoga and where we use in this context. How we use in this context is this. Parvartin Yoga, it gives benefits of both the Rasis or signs. And it is treated as the first house. Because Jupiter is placed in Cancer, we treat this as the first house. And because the first house Lord is here in Jupiter's house, that is Parvartin Yoga. We treat this also as the first house. Okay, so the first house Lord's placement. The first house trinal sign. This is the first house. Trinal sign is 5 and 9. Planets, luckily no one is here. If any planet is there in the trinal signs or the planets with it, they give the overall result for the 12 years. Aspect, 12 years overall result. Trinal signs, 12 years. First house lord place placement and the planets are and the planets aspecting the uh, first house lord and the pla planets placed in the trinal house of the first first house lord you will get all those results for the whole 12 years next transiting jupiter natal planets 
transiting Jupiter ELYZ has to give you a result. Whenever he touches each planet, he will give you that particular result. But how and what? How? When he touches the planet, he will give you the significations of the planet result. Year-wise. I am talking now year-wise. Two things are also here. No? Year-wise also is there. So, when he travels, when he travels, he will touch a planet and give you the result. Fine. <coughs> here, there is still one more expansion. I will do it later. Not now. Because it will be too many cooks spoil the broth. So, here, touching the planet. When I talk about, this is the first round, so it will be the result of Jupiter itself, not pertaining to something else. When I come to the second round of Jupiter, I will give you that result also. Finally, I will tell you, when a planet sits here, what all will happen in the family? Not only him, not he will enjoy the benefits. Apart from this, what is going to happen with the people around him, with his brother, with his sister, with his travels, with his business, even all those things can be noted for the year-wise prediction. When I come to that year-wise, I will do that. Right now, our mind says, we, are take, we have to take this into consideration and do this. So, transiting over. First house, Lord aspected I have told you already. Right? Now, we will jump into the final state. Using these, what are you going to do? First house, I told you, overall, 12 years. What will be the result of 12 years? Now see, watch. Jupiter in Cancer is aspected by Saturn. Jupiter with Sun. The native for the 12 years, what all the results he will get? Saturn is aspecting definitely a lot of problems. Because Saturn, wherever Saturn aspects, he will give problems. Okay? I am not talking which house lord he is. Which house uh, 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 to uh, I mean uh, Saturn conjunct in conjunction with, with uh, which house lot? I am just directly taking Saturn into consideration. Saturn's aspect will give problems for the first 12 years to the native. Luckily, Sun is there. So, by the God's grace, Sun is nothing but deity God. By the God's grace, that child will be saved a lot of times. If at all, you take, as I said here, Parivartin Yoga of Moon and Sun. When Jupiter comes here, nobody is aspecting except Mars, Mercury, Venus. This gentleman, the native, will enjoy good education will end because Mercury is in Sun. Uh, Leo, Venus, uh, vehicles or vehicle or costly things, costly dresses, uh, Mars, he will have frequent health issues because Mars will be striking. This is the 12 year round. Fine. Over. Now we will go year wise. First year of birth. Sun was there. Very good naming ceremony and everything went well. Second year. Mars, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Venus was there. I told you. Second year. Very good things are happening at home. Lot of gatherings because of Mercury. Venus, a lot of good things is happening at home. Financial part of it or purchasing part of it, or happiness or good food. Mars is also there. So this Mars will create trouble within the relatives because it is with Mercury. So the second year, the natives, second, second house, it will be problem. And because second year he touches Mars, he will fall down or he will have problems with the health. Or he will get hurt. That has happened. Fine. That's why medicine is Venus. Mars is accident or something. Minor. Whether it is a minor or a major or a death. That can be known according to the Aisthana Adipati. This Aisthana Adipati is Saturn. So, dear Gayu. Only accident will take place. And moreover, there is a fight between Mercury and Mars. So, Mars will be a little... For Mercury, Leo is okay. For Mars, Leo is 50-50. Because Mercury is there with Mars, there is an enemy. So, he will not have complete strength. This is the way to treat about second year. Third year, he will have a lot of problems. 
I told you. This is year wise I am now talking. In the third year. Don't bother about retrograde period. In the third year. Assume that. Assume that in the third year Jupiter has come here. The trinal sign. Saturn. Fifth sign. Nobody is aspecting here. And. Ninth house nobody is, as, nobody is placed in ninth house from Jupiter, transiting Jupiter. So when no one is there, only Saturn is there, again the child will face problems, health problems. Because Aishthanam, 8 and 9. Okay, problems for the child. What else the child will have? Usually health problems, getting hurt, chased by pets or dog bites. Yeah, whatever you find, you know, all the, those types of uh, problems. Health problems only will be major when Saturn sees. Saturn is the Aish Karaka. Yeah. So this is third year, fourth year. In the trinal science, nobody is there. Mars is not aspecting. Ketu is the only one gentleman who is aspecting the fourth year. In the placement of fourth year, he will be aspected by Ketu. So, lot of tensions will prevail. Boils. He cannot give tensions to a child. So, next thing Ketu gives us is boils on the hands, pain in the ears, or overheat of the body. Okay? Danger through electricity or through fire. That has happened here. This kid had a problem with hot water. Hot water fell on his body because of Ketu. This is one step. Fifth year, nothing is there. Jupiter and Sun are looking at him. Fifth house. Fifth year. Sixth year, moon is there. They changed the residence. They changed the residence. The native's family changed the residence. At the age of child's six years and life new friends or new people new neighbors Rahu change was there seventh sat he was hospitalized nobody's aspecting Jupiter is aspecting Sun is aspecting so luckily though hospitalization was there he was safe. Ninth, tenth, eleventh, okay. Uh, seven, eight, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. In the year of twelve, when he was twelve years old, Ketu is there. Again, there was a danger through waters. He fell into a tank. It is not a tank, also, it is a sump. This is how we have to know for the first 12 years and all the 12 years, whatever good or bad Jupiter, transiting Jupiter takes, it will be given for the child, plus or minus. Hope, at least you would have understood a little. Okay. So, uh, in the rounds of Jupiter, we can know two things. This is final. Overall of the 12 years, year-wise predictions. Whenever the natal, whenever the transiting Jupiter touches the natal planet, that is year wise. The rounds, whichever placement, first round is Jupiter's placement round. Wherever he is placed, that sign or Rasi is aspected by planets, that is the result for the 12 years. If it is Parivartin Yoga, you have to take it in, in, in this consideration. You place Jupiter here, this will be also the first year. You place Jupiter there, that will also be the first 12 years. Okay? The planets and the trinal signs. Here we have to consider only the placement of Jupiter, the Lord. These are the five things which are important and these are the five things which are going to save us. Okay? I think I have done a little justice. It is not a short subject, but I don't have much time. I have to continue. Now I have put this in front of you all. If at all, whenever you come out with a little development, a little, uh, what do you call it, uh, enhancement of the subject, kindly let me, let me know through the mail. I will try to bring out a new video. 
This is not the end. There is day-wise calculation also. Month-wise also is there. How to pick a particular date of happening? In the month-wise when I come, I'll do it. Right now, the rounds of Jupiter, you will be half astrology. Year-wise, uh, year-wise prediction, half astrology. Month-wise, 75% of astrology. Day-to-day -day predictions, you are a perfect astrologer. So, till I meet you next time. Uh, I, I know, for me, I think I have done justice for those people who are uh, wanting to see this uh, rounds of Jupiter very badly. I think I have done the justice, okay?